Hi guys, this is Fox1989, and today I'm joined by my friend... Bob. My new name will be Bob. Sorry, I'm just kidding, I'm Kaze250, also known as GamerGuy472. This is a dual part A video test to make sure that a new video capture or audio capture codec I just installed is working. Make sure you can hear my buddy. And the other part is to start doing a let's play sort of, so of sorts of the arena quests available in the Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. So what they are is sure. essentially you're given equipment by the arena to take on monsters. So pretty much it's going to be like my let's play but I'm doing the actual story mode and you're doing the uh, training hall. Mm -hmm. So the ones that are in green are the ones that I've already done but I can still go back and redo them. So what should I do? You got sword and shield, you have the uh, great sword, the hammer, the sp uh, lance, and of course the, do the bow gun. Do, do, uh, do the great sword, the great sword looked cool. The silver serpent blade. So first thing we do is we're gonna check our equipment. So when you upgrade when you upgrade that thing fully, it turns into the uh, the it turns black. That's all I can say. So I have fire resistance black. as per the red piercing I have equipped, and that's pretty much all I have equipped. <laughs> the upper the uh, oh. uh, the upper feet, but. Um, so I'll be slightly resistant to his fireballs. Other than that, I have no buffs whatsoever. I have one sonic bomb, some rations, potions, and some whetstones. Yeah, but it's only a cut coup. Yes, but this is also arena and I'm wearing no armor. I still remember that, uh, cut coup from yesterday. It was flying away, I shot it with an arrow, it hit the ground and died. That was straight up beast. Then again, I was using the, uh, Unculus Blade. I just got messed on Skype, but well, we're gonna ignore that for now. It's not like the viewers can see it. Yeah, but they heard it, remember? Speaker capture. Or can they? Yes, they can. They can see it? No, they can't see it, but they can hear it. I know that. So with the great sword, it's a very slow weapon but very powerful. You can charge it up, hit level three charge, do some good damage. But other than that, it's very slow, so you have to be careful that you don't use it at the wrong time, or else you're just gonna end up getting hit. Like that. It, I got caught if, putting one in my blade. If you're good with it. Any monster that charges at you at a moderate speed, you can always counter it with a, a great sword charge. Oh, didn't see that. But that's coming. if you're good with it. Yeah, but see, I am not good with it. I used to be beast with it. Then again, I used to be beast with everything, but uh, everything changes now and then. So, because this is a arena match, if I faint even once, the arena is over. Oh, so that's how it is? If you faint once, it's over? Uh, it is in single player, yep. I want the shiny! Ah! Oh no! Ah, chef. Nope, there's the shiny. It's right by his feet. Screw it. Going for it. Ha 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 Shiny! 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 So now I'm gonna run for the hill. Shiny! And I can stand Shinies up there are and wonderful heal. things. And he cannot hit you unless you uh, get hit by a fireball. <laughs> unless I slow down and get my butt kicked. Oh, indeed. Quest failed, and then he rapes your body. And then he flies away. Kid friendly, please. Sorry. Okay, well that one didn't go so well. I'll go up to uh, the Kongalala. Because I can do dual swords with him at the very least. Oh no, the Kongalala. The Kongulala. The 
terror of the Emerald Congo la 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 la. It's so scary. <clears throat> so, dual swords are a very fast hitting uh, class. Um, they are the fastest hitting in the game, but also have some of the weakest attack in the game. But you attack so fast that it doesn't really matter. Where's my rations? I don't have any rations. Oh, I got power juice. You have power juice, that's why. It's only a small power juice, though. <coughs> have the Velocidrome Claws. I think all that does is attack power. Oops. As you can Obviously see, he, he throws says no. dung. And if you get hit with the dung, it makes you all smelly and unable to use items. So try not to get covered in poop. I think that applies but, to regular uh, life anyway, so uh, it should be something you're trying to do anyways. Trying to get too <laughs> close when he lands, or his uh, vibrations will cause you to st um, stagger. But if you do get hit with the uh, poo and you become all smelly, they have the item called deodorants that you could throw on the ground and it makes you smell all better. I don't know how that didn't get me caught up in the tremors. Ooh, overshot him. I like to think of Kongalala as Patrick, but a lot dirtier. I just realized he's not holding anything in his tail. Kongalala has the ability to hold mushrooms and stuff in his tail. Oops. Oh, and I'm soiled. Oh, I can still at least sharpen. He, he, he can also uh, hold... He can hold mushrooms. He can hold Bones. what it looks like to be a rock. He can hold a bone looking object, and then there's also this brown rock thing that is, that's basically poo. And, and if you hit his tail enough, he'll drop it and it turn into a shiny. On the other Depending hand, on if you let him get too tired, he will eat it, and he will gain power, such as the ability to breathe poison or fire. If he's holding a nitro shroom, it'll be fire. If he's holding a toadstool, it'll be poison, things like that. If he has a, hey, if uh, a dung ball, it'll he'll be able to breathe gas that will essentially make you soiled. Which is the correct term for being pooed on. But uh, depending on uh, what he's holding in his tail, okay. if it's a bone... Ooh, that was close. And, the, uh, and that's it, Gabe. And guys. if he drops it, you have a good chance of picking up a small bone... I think, or a bone or something like that. Now, as I if it's said, a mushroom, in my uh, previous uh, my previous video I did on Monster Unite, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, if you um, start gathering stuff and use as little items as possible, you'll get as much as you can from the reward screen, as you'll be giving more points for item trading, where it's trading all the items you currently have on you in order to get more points, which then transfer into more points for your farm. 10% uh, of money. the points you earn in this will be given to you as uh, poke points, which you use to... Uh, well, it doesn't increase your money, no. It just increases your points. No, it doesn't? Yeah. But you, That's something you, I didn't. You earn know. money by... Because you usually get golden fish and coins, which you can sell if you don't need. <clears throat> and the more po the more points you have, the better chance you have of getting the better items. Anyways... um. You can use it to upgrade your farm and stuff, so you can use your farm to get better items in between quests. For more uh, information on that, we will get to that eventually in my friend's walkthrough, which I will be posting a link to his channel in the description bar down below. So golden fish I can sell. That's another thousand zenny. Thousand zenny can go a long way. So look at that, new high score, and I got 500 and f just about 550 Poké Points. Mm, nice. Plus a thousand Zenny for doing the quest, plus a thousand I had for the Golden Fish, that's 2,000 Zenny I made off that. 
As I mentioned in my previous video, the best way to make money off the arena is to do the cut coup with the bow gun. Use a crag shot to cause him to stagger. Crag shot or whatever you guys want to call it. The boom shot. Gather the shiny if he drops one and run for the hills and then you can just stand up there and shoot at him. How much time do we have? I, li I like it when you say uh, crag shot because it makes me think of Craigslist. Uh, we're only at 10 minutes. So we can go a little bit longer. So I'm just going to do minutes. the cut coup with the bow gun. Just show you again how to properly do that and get more money. It's a very quick way. It takes about a minute and a half to actually kill the beast. And it's a great way to make money because it's very quick. Gets you $1,000 plus some if you get, depending on your drops. And you often get between three and 500 poke points. Which is great for upgrading your farm. So. In your last video, it took you about two minutes total but then again you were showing them what to do and stuff mm -hmm. so oops i'm not supposed to be using those all, all together you could really kill this thing in about a minute and a half minute 20 minutes minute 20 minutes minute and 20 seconds so gather the shiny that's adds a mega potion to your inventory now once you hit him with uh, anything that causes him to stagger like that like uh, a sonic bomb or uh, any sort of explosion, it will get him to be, uh, cause him to become enraged. He's faster, his attacks are stronger. And uh, his um, immunity is also increased by like half a percent. He, uh, he also can no longer be affected by the sonic bombs until he calms down. So if I hit him with this, and it explodes, it doesn't cause him to be stunned like it did last time. Now switch over to my normal twos. Also, another thing I notice is that when you hit him with a sonic bomb, it actually takes two to affect him the next time. I've I don't know if that was that. me here. If it was, I've noticed that before. Okay. And there goes his ears, which gives me more points. And one more volley of shots, and he's gone. Now get down, crouch down, because you can gather faster when you're crouched. And start crouching, or start gathering as soon as you can. You and can get the more three gathers have, off of Kudku. The more points you get. Now that roll took less time towards than the. Um, you roll towards that fence over there and run. You can only get one item from here, so don't worry about crouching. Just gather. You get a portable shock trap. Roll away from the fence and run. And over here, stop, crouch, gather. If you try to crouch like while running, you'll only end up rolling and wasting more time. Indeed. Now roll away from the fence. And hold R, continue to run around the corner, up to here. Now this is the hard part. If you're fast enough, you can get a large barrel bomb from here at the same time. Just in time. And that gives you the most possible items had I not used that ration by accident. And it, uh, what I've actually gave you like a, like three seconds after you now, got I'm that gonna, large barrel bomb. I'm not going to need the cut coup coin because I already have a crap load of them. And I got small golden fish. So I'm going to just sell everything. That's 1100 uh, zenny extra. So it adds up all my points. So I get 363 uh, Poke Points. Poke Points. Pokemon. And I get more money off it. And uh, look at that, we're at 15 minutes. Just about, 14. 14.07. So as you can see, that was a nice quick way to uh, kill a Kaku. Did you see what the actual time was? I didn't check it. I didn't check it either. I think it was like 2 minutes and 10 seconds or something like well, that. Well, uh, I can always a look back on the recording 50. to see it after. But um, the actual kill took about a minute and a half. So as I said in my last video and just re-demonstrate now, it's a nice quick way to make money. If, you want, if you're you know, short a thousand zenny or so uh, to make an item or to go on a, on a quest you want to do, just do that. It's nice and quick. You don't waste any items. And it's also great for getting Poke Points, because each one can uh, 
fund a 200 uh, point voyage for Trenya, which gives you more free items, as well as um, as well as still give you 100 points left over, which adds up. So over on my farm, I'm just gonna do some gathering. Go the secret popo place. Go to my beehive. Get some honey. Honey is very important in the game. Used for many different kinds of crafting. Another quick way to make money is mite seeds or power seeds, whatever you like to call them. What I like to do is I gather one row of mite seeds. And then you sell the rest. And then I sell the other two. But generally it has to be a little over a thousand zenny per. Right, let's take this stuff. And try, and try the best is uh, storm cinder seeds. And sell that. That's two, uh, a little over 2,200 more zenny. So I'll spread out some dung, which maxes out my fields. Allows me to get the highest, uh, uh, highest uh, yield for my fields. Put down power seeds. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of them. 110 plus 2 in my inventory. Because I like to use them a lot on quests as well. Here's Trenya. So you fund his voyages with Poke Points, and he brings back stuff for you. Like wyvern droppings essentially is like using a dung on all three fields at the same time. They're very rare indeed. And uh, I think in hiring quests they're a lot easier to get from dung piles than actual dung itself. So what I do is I use them to the forest and hills for 500 points. And you see a nice little cutscene of him jumping in his boat. And sometimes like several things have happened. He'll take off very fast. Nothing might happen. Sometimes he actually sinks in the river. I like the part when he sinks in the river. Because I like laughing at him and making fun of him. Be like, ha ha ha. Looks like he's not going to do anything again. here. I think uh, when, when he does it normally, nothing happen. Nothing special happens. When he when he goes really fast, you get more items. And when he sinks, I think you get less items. So, gathering some bugs from my bug uh, bushes here. And there isn't uh, a secret in the cave, however, to what that is, you will have to learn that for yourself. Um, I'm not going to show you, and you'll have to wait if you follow my friend Case's Let's Play. Uh, it happens as part of the story, and you will see what happens then. Indeed. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop everything in here. I just noticed something. You have a really big bow. <laughs> that is the Blango bow, I think, four. It, it lo I thought it was part of your armor. Yeah, Blango fur bow four. <coughs> Blango fur bow. IV. I like the high rank one because it has like two extra thingies. Whatever and we're at 18 minutes, or just about my 20 minute limit, so I'm going to go ahead and call an episode there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check out Kaze's uh, walkthrough, or Kaze, however you like to pronounce his name. Bob. Um, I'm going to link his channel in the Bob. description. GamerGuy472. Four, 472. And uh, check out his walkthrough. It's just starting out, so it might start out a little slow. He's a little new with the LP thing, so uh, any suggestions on where he should continue, what the kind of things he should go over, uh, any comments like that would be muchly appreciated and will benefit the walkthrough in its entirety. Exactly. So this is Fox1989 and... Case 250 And we will be signing off for the night.